Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing my memory spread and this is for the week of October 7th through the 13th and I'm really excited that I finally caught up to October. Um, for this week I have this kit from Lemon and Honey Studio. This is a shop that's relatively new to me. I just discovered her um, a couple months ago when I was looking for a Halloween kit and um, I also picked this up in her shop. I just think the colors are so beautiful and it's such a unique fall kit. Kit. So I'm going to go over what's included in the kit really quickly. She sent along this little sheet that matches the kit and I think it's just like a little sampler but it comes with an extra full box. We've got this little quarter box with a scale if you're tracking your weight. Um, we have these eight uh, meal flags right here. We have a scallop label, a flag, and then some functional stickers. I love this little taco night sticker. And on this page we have the nine full boxes and this quote box here says, hey there pumpkin. And then moving to the next page we've got Oh, it goes this way. We have date covers. Um, I think these are like third boxes and then two strips of bottom washi. We've got lots of functional stickers on this page, such as text stickers, a movie marquee, a Monday through Sunday box for the sidebar, a three square checklist, um, functional icons, more checklists, and then a Hello Weekend banner at the bottom. And then this last page comes with all the half boxes. We have an extra full box here. It says pumpkin season. And then we have these really pretty little scallop headers. I think those are really unique and I can't wait to pull those in. We've got some flags and then some half boxes and, or I'm sorry, quarter boxes and third boxes here at the bottom. And I want to mention that the owner of this shop did send me a coupon code for you guys. And so if you're interested in checking out her shop, make sure you go down below to my description box to grab that code. And yeah, I'm really excited to build this. So let's go ahead and get started by placing down the bottom washi. Okay, so first of all, please ignore my voice in the intro. I was just editing that portion and I sound so tired. I'm pretty sure I had just woken up when I filmed it and so I had my froggy, croaky morning voice and it just sounded so awful, so I apologize for that. Um, but anyways, really quickly, I'm just putting down my bottom washi. I decided to use both the washi strips, but it wouldn't fit in the bottom section unless I trimmed the thicker washi and so I just cut off a little bit from that so that I could fit them both. And then I go ahead and place down a full box at the top. I then decided to work backwards because I needed to see how much space I had left. Whenever I leave the large hexagon in the corner, um, it kind of throws off my judgment on how much space I have. So I tend to choose to start from the bottom. Um, first, I put down the Monday through Sunday box that came in the kit and I used this what's for dinner sticker from Plans with the Ness. And then on top of that, I decided to use this full box and I was just going to write in Monday through Sunday myself. The this week header came in the kit and then I used a um, habit tracker to track my working out. So for this week, I did not have to white out the large hexagon because the color matched really nicely with this kit. And that's one of the reasons I decided to save this kit for October. Initially, I think I was going to use it in September, but I realized how nicely it matched the color. So um, I'm really glad I did that. I put down all the date covers and the date dots are from Ruby Trev. On Monday, I first started by placing down a glitter header, and all the ones I pull in this week are from Mandy Dreams. So for Monday, the first thing I did was grab a pumpkin cream cold brew, because that's been my favorite fall drink this year. And initially, I wrote that on my planner and pulled in this fall coffee cup sticker from um, Paper and Milk, but um, I decided to place down a third box behind it, so I go ahead and do that really quick. And I did upload a plan with me that morning, so I decided to use this upload sticker from Love Shira. I wanted the icon on the right-hand side instead of on the left, so I just go ahead and cut it off and then placed it on the right. I then put down a full box and then I used this Target sticker from my leftover stash um, to mark that I went to Target after work. I then trimmed down the full box a little bit so that it didn't look so crowded. And then um, continuing with the day, I used a half box to mark my workout that day and the dumbbell sticker I pulled in is from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. At the very bottom, I decided to use a two square checklist to mark some things I did that night. And initially I wanted to pull in one of these scallop headers, but it didn't look very good with the checklist. So I decided to cut off the scallop part. And then I placed a to-do script sticker on top of that. And that is from the kit. The nail polish sticker I just put down is also from the kit. And then for Tuesday, I decided to place down a full box at the bottom first before moving back to the top. 
Moving to the top, I used a scallop header and I wrote meetings on top of that to mark that I had quite a few meetings that day. Um, the first one I marked with this pencils and a cup sticker from Lemon Paper Co. And I heard her shop is open again. I still haven't had a chance to check it out, but I definitely will soon. And my second meeting, I put that on a third box and also pulled in this meeting emoji sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. This meeting was kind of frustrating, so I was pretty much that emoji in the front right corner banging its head on the table. Um, that was totally me. And then I used a flag to mark my next meeting. I placed down a glitter header on top of the full box and then um, in the remaining space I wanted to mark a couple more things so I did have an IEP meeting that afternoon and for those of you who are new to my channel IEPs are meetings that we hold for students who are in special education um, so I put that on a half box and the IEP flag is from Lily Grove Designs. I also put down a quarter box in that space and I pulled in this film sticker from Love Shira. Again, I wanted the icon on the right hand side instead of the left and so I just go ahead and cut it like I did before and then move the icon onto the other side. Moving to Wednesday, first I placed down a full box at the top and this one has some empty space in the middle so I decided to put down this glasses sticker and that's from Laban Forest. I marked that I did a lot of observations that day so the glasses felt very appropriate. Then underneath that, I think I didn't have much to mark on Wednesday. There wasn't a whole lot going on and I had tons of space to fill so I put down a glitter header with a meal flag that came with the kit and I marked that I had a pizza lunchable for lunch which is one of my all-time favorite foods um, ever since I was like a kid it's just so good and um, I don't have it very often but when I do it's like such a treat and then underneath that I used a half box with an IEP flag from Lily Grove Designs again. I did another workout when I got home, super proud of myself. So I used a shoe sticker, I think that is from Sticker Sis. And at the bottom, I initially put down a third box with a TV sticker. I think that's from Brandy's shop and I marked that I watched Gilmore Girls that night, but I decided for some reason, and I can't remember now, but I decided to save that for Friday instead. And so I just go ahead and peel it up. And then um, instead I used a quarter box with a utensil sticker from Lemon Paper Co. to mark that one of my favorite fast food Asian places called Paywood was doing a um, BOGO promotion and so I definitely had to go grab some dinner there and at the bottom I just cut up a small strip of the remaining um, full box that I was not planning to use and I pulled in a TV sticker from the kit. Now moving on to Thursday, first I started by placing down a scallop label and similar to Wednesday, I don't think I had a whole lot going on on Thursday. So I decided to mark my lunch again the same way with a meal flag. And then to mark a meeting that I had, I used a quarter box with another pencils and a cup sticker from Lemon Paper Co. I then placed down a full box and a glitter header underneath that. I used a half box with a Heart Eyes Maru sticker to mark that I went and got PF Changs with some of my old coworkers. Um, it was really good to see them. I still work with some of them, but other ones have moved on to different schools. So it's always really fun when we get together. And then um, I went home, which again is not something I usually mark, but because I just had extra space, I decided to use a strip of washi with this house sticker that came in the kit. In the remaining space, I pulled in this heart icon. I think it was from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. I found that in my little like circle icon collection. And then I used my brush lettering pen to mark that I just relaxed for the rest of the night. On Friday, I started by placing down that third box that I created on Wednesday. And above that, I used the um, full box that says pumpkin season because I think it's super cute and I wanted to pull in another quote box. Um, then moving to the top, I started by placing down a glitter header. Then I used a quarter box with this coffee sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that I got some coffee on Friday morning, which I love to do. Then I decided to work backwards to figure out how much space I had left. I put down a half box, a quarter box, and then a laptop sticker from the kit to mark that I did some report writing at work that day. On the quarter box, I used a strength training sticker from Love Shira to mark my workout. And then on the half box, I just marked that we went to get dinner with our friends and um, we had french fries. So I pulled in that french fry sticker, which is from Paper and Milk. For the weekend, I wanted to create a background for my weekend banner, so I took the remaining full box that I wasn't going to use and I just cut it in half and then layered the weekend banner right over that. I think it was a bit off center when I first put it down, so I had to lift it up really carefully and then place it down better the second time. 
On Saturday, I first placed down this full box, and this is another one that has some empty space in the middle. So I put down this goals script sticker that came in the kit, and then just marked some places or some things that we did that morning. I believe we had some friends over that day. Um, we were playing this like campaign board game called Scythe. So we were on our second day of playing the game. That board game sticker is, I think, from Happy Dia Stickers. I then placed down a half box at the bottom and used a glitter header on top of that. And then I put down this little flag sticker. I decided to first place down all the functional stickers I'm going to use and then fill them in with what I did. So on the third box that I put down, I pulled in these balloon stickers from the kit to mark that it was one of our friend's birthdays. Next to that little flag, I just marked the first bar that we went to. And then on the half box, I marked the next bar that we went to that night. And it ended up just being one of those like super weird, crazy, like what the heck just happened kind of nights so that's kind of what I put in the half box it was definitely a really fun night though so I'm really glad we went out for my friend's birthday and then on Sunday I started by placing down a scallop header at the top then I used a quarter box and put down a glitter header underneath that again I think I was just trying to space things out by placing down all the functional boxes first um, to see what I was able to fit in the day so on the quarter box I used a grocery icon from sunset sticker Co. to mark that we went to Costco that morning Morning. Um, it's been super dangerous since we got our Costco card because we just suddenly have all these things to buy. Um, then under the full box, I put down a half box with this couch sticker. I believe that's from the Itty Bitty Sticker Co. Um, but I got it as a sampler and it was my leftover stash, so I'm not 100% sure. Um, I used that to mark that I had a really lazy day and I lettered that with my brush lettering pen. And then on the half box, I just marked that we watched Shits Creek and Gilmore Girls, which are two shows that I dearly love and have been really enjoying. Um, and I'm pretty sure that concludes my spread. I don't think I had anything else to add except working on my sidebar. So I go ahead and just fill out all of my workouts, my happy moments, and my dinners for the week. And I actually really like how I did the happy moments this week um, because I didn't have like a heart checklist or another Monday through Sunday box. I just kind of filled out this empty full box and I think it totally worked out. And now I'm just showing you these stickers that I have left in this kit, which will be added to my leftovers pile. And I'll be doing a leftovers giveaway probably pretty soon because I've been planning and filming a lot lately um, and yeah that is my spread for today I decided not to pull in any foil this week because I just love the colors of this kit and I just wanted to keep it simple and fun and I think it totally worked out um, I love how this turned out these colors are so gorgeous I hope you guys enjoyed this as well please let me know if you have any questions I hope you guys are enjoying these videos that I've been you know really trying to upload as quickly as I can so I can ultimately get caught up by the new year that's my goal just so I'm not uploading holiday spreads like super far behind and I just really want to be more caught up in my planning for myself as well but anyways I feel like I've just been really chatty tonight so hopefully this video won't be too long but um, as always thanks for watching and I hope you guys have a great week bye